morning welcome to something saturday so today i thought i would show you the alpha best bundle and there's a bit of a funny story behind it so let me swap you over and we will show you all right so here it is we have this punch which is that size literally it is the size of my thumb and we have this um alpha best um stamp set the punch is called best label punch okay the funny story is that i looked at this in the catalog in the back of the book where it's got all the punches which is back here <clears throat> and i went oh that's really cool and i automatically imagined it being like twice the size <laughs> So I thought, you know what? I don't need the stamp set that goes with that. I know what I'm doing. I'll just get the little punch on its own. Not really considering the fact it was a little punch. So of course the punch arrived and I went, oh, okay. That's kind of considerably smaller than I expected it to be. Um, so at that point I thought, oh, maybe I better actually order the bundle, uh, well, the rest of it. So of course I didn't end up getting it as a bundle, but if you choose to get it as a bundle, you get 10% off, which was kind of really silly of me not to order it like that because the, um, the alphabet I have discovered is actually really useful. <laughs> and it's got these really cool extra pieces. So here they are. Let's just see whether you can see this. Uh, so it's got these really cool sort of extra bits that you can put behind your sayings. Or, and it's got this pretty one. Um, therefore, I have made, drum roll please, this card. Oops, this card here. So I put, hello beautiful. And now it's got itself stuck. Hang on a minute. There we go. Um, and I thought, you know, it's really really quite nice to be able to just make up your own words and have them hanging around. <laughs> right, so I thought I would show you how to do that. So the Alphabest bundle is actually $57.50 and that includes the stamp set, which has a whole heap of stamps in it. It has 73 stamps to be precise. And it also includes the cute little punch. Right, and it's on page 115 in case you're wondering and you've got a catalogue. This is the catalogue. It's lovely, isn't it? All right, let's pop it back down here anyway. And let's move on. So, oh, bother. I thought I had myself all organised here. Just going to not grab those bits at all because that's not actually what I want. Let's grab out... Some of my random card stock here that will take this going that way let's see that'll probably do us so what i did to begin with was i actually worked out what i wanted to say so in this case i wanted to say hello beautiful and i thought well i'll i'll um in, um, um mount up the um ones that only need to be stamped once, stamped twice, stamped three times. So we have, I hob a fruit and ooey and L. <laughs> uh, and I thought I would change up the colors this time. So I was gonna go with the evening evergreen. I thought uh, I would use this twine that, um, Van Baker's twine, because I happen to have this. And the first one I used this twine here, which is the Poppy Parade. So I thought this time I would go with the green, which just so happens to be Evening Evergreen. I wrote down the colours on the outside of my thing. Otherwise, I get to the point where I look at it and I go, oh, I wonder what colour that was. So what we do is we start off and we're going to stamp our... Our I hob aft. We need to stamp that once. And somewhere around here, we have one of these, which I'm going to clean that off on. Oh, excuse the fact that I've got other things falling in. 
and then we need this one so u and e and we need this one twice so we'll go one two hopefully pretty sure this will all fit onto here if not i could be stamping the whole lot again but nah that's good and then we need three l's so l l they're all upside down that's fine it doesn't matter it's going to get punched I don't think I've cleaned that one off. There it is. Right, they're all clean now. And then I just went ahead and punched them all out. So we're gonna go one, two. Might see whether I can't fast forward this part of the video. So we've got all of those pieces now. I'm just gonna sit them onto here. Uh, ooh. Ooh, look at that. My N and my U look remarkably similar. Interestingly though, they actually do give us a, an N and a U in the set. So that's that's kind of good. I like that. All right, then I thought I would use, where's my stamp set gone to? Uh, oh yes, so we want this one to frame it. Let's just grab that there. And then I actually thought I might use the, um, uh, this one here along the bottom, which um, what I did with mine because the way they have them on the um, on here is really random and I cannot tell where ABC etc is. So what I've done with mine is I've actually gone ahead and put it all in alphabetical order. Uh, ironically, it goes backwards, <laughs> but that's because I was sticking it on from this side and I was going A, B, C, D. And then I turned it over and went, oh, duh. But but there you go. It doesn't matter because I know that it's it's all in the right order now. <laughs> <laughs> so that one there is the one that I want and I need another little one of those pop that and that on there let's close that up temporarily and we're going to pop this around these so it doesn't matter Four. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Do you see how I'm getting the middle of that a bit dirty? So I'm obviously pressing a little bit too hard on my um on my blot um ink pad. So you can actually really let the weight of the um the stamp the block itself ink your stamp for you. And then that way you're not going to end up with extra colour in the middle of your um, um, your stamp as well, which is a bit of a pain when it does that. Okay, fine. Oh, I'm doing it again. Oh, golly, I can't see that. The... Um, the lights reflecting off the block into my eyes. And last one. Let's give that a quick clean off again. Mm -hmm. nah, that'll do. Okay. So then the one that I did with this card here, I actually just inked it up and then let it keep going. Oh. That was really silly and actually the hello i actually did a different thing underneath it well this one's going to be different again there you go why not that's the whole thing isn't it 
You don't want to do the same card twice. Uh, but it would be good if I could find my white card stock. There it is. Found it. So I will grab out a white card. And we will move that lot over to there. Oh, actually, no. What we'll do is we'll, um, we'll attach these on first. Because if I do that, then they can be drying while I stamp the rest of it. So because I know that this is going to be slightly curly um, from having been on the um, on the reel for a little while, I'm just running it through my hands to straighten it out a wee bit. So we are going to go H, E, let's just move some of these around, L, L, O, hello. Move that lot off there, and we will find the scissors. Okay, so I'm using my silicone mat here because I want to be able to, so we're gonna H-E-L-L-O, go the middle one, and let's hope I'm gonna get this the right way up. That would be good. So I'm just gonna add a bit of glue not going to add a bit of glue with that one because that one seems to be kind of dry. <laughs> this one feels a lot more, oh goodness. Yep, heaps more glue in this one. So we're going to go the L. And the good thing with doing it on the silicone mat is it doesn't actually matter if you stick it to the mat as well as the, um, uh, the twine. Because it'll just peel off the mat once the glue is dry. Il, il, ooh. Oh, come on, move along slightly. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, and, oh, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> and then the H. Now, where's the H? Top of the H. Top of the H is there. Yeah, we're just going to pop that onto there too. Right. So, hello is now down. And let us do the same thing again. Pop that over there. We are going to go with beautiful. B, E, A, U, T, I, F, U, okay, righty ho, so I have finished sticking those down and now we can move on to this card. Uh, I'm going to use, I, I kind of feel like these colours complement each other really nicely, which is the evening evergreen and the soft succulent. So I'm going to use the soft succulent just to create myself a little bit of a row along the bottom of this. Oh, that's what I did last time. Hang on. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, come on. So what I did last time was I actually did a, a graduating line. So that means that um, I've stamped the first one, I stamped the second one, I stamp it a third time. Ooh, that third one doesn't come out terribly well like this. However, one, two, three. Got to be able to see it. Three. Ooh, I think I'm making my way up the page as well. That's not good. <laughs> One, two, three. All right, so that's given us a little bit of something different along the bottom of it. And then hopefully these are drying off. Oopsie. Okay, I might 
just oh god come on might just leave those to dry off a wee bit more before i continue on so i'm just going to fast forward the video again righty ho so um I think now it's probably just about dry enough that I can now start hanging these on. The best way I found was, okay, to pop a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue there because these are the bits that are gonna have where it's hanging on to. Then if you grab your saying and you actually stand your card up, then you can hopefully get this into about the right spot and just hold it down there for a sec and beautiful I want to do the same thing again with that so again I'm just going to add a little dot of glue there and a little dot of glue approximately in the same place on the other side of the card. Grab my beautiful and hopefully, uh oh, it moved. Of course it moved. Hopefully if I do, oh, come on. Why are you doing that? It's because I'm doing a video, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stand my card up because it actually is a lot easier to do when the card is standing up. Um. Well, it's almost there. God, this looks way more complicated than it was the first time I did it, I've got to say. <laughs> Always the way, isn't it? Okay. So that is the basics of it. And then you just want to find something that you can add to the edges here. So that um, then that can... Really? You're going to be awkward like that too? Oh, my goodness me. Not sure whether this card is actually going to make it to a video or not now. It's beginning to annoy me. Anyway, if it does make it to a video, do feel free to check on over at my blog and see how I actually finished this card off. But this is the general gist of it. And there is this one here, and I've got a feeling I'm going to add something extra to both of them. So, um, yeah, hop on over to my blog check out what I end up doing with them and thank you very much for joining me today. <laughs> if you did enjoy the video feel free to come back next Saturday and uh, enjoy another video. Thanks for this. Bye!